Something Wicked Studios. <sighs> Exiled. Sexiled. <laughs> Works for me. Oh, bar. How far is this cabin anyway? This cabin is the coziest, most romantic love den you will ever lay your eyes upon. I've nailed like all the women <laughs> here there. It, I'm it's feeling like the best place to get laid. Play your cards right and maybe you will get lucky. Hey porn stars, you're gonna need these. Porn star? I pay to see you. Uh, gross. Hey, I'm sorry to kick you <laughs> he out. He just like knows. That. He just knows how attractive oh, he is. Sure God damn it, Josh. Mm-hmm. You have fun with the peanut gallery. <sighs> oh, I almost forgot. Gotta fire up the generator so you can see where you're going. It's dark out there. All right. Roger that. I, I he's totally going to murder today. everyone. Okay. He's totally well, going to murder problem. everyone. Wait, really? What? No. All right. All right, so we got some clues. We got the butterfly effect thing. Um, What's the whose side are you on? We did? Just, that's weird. Okay, fine. I... okay. Hey, yeah, I don't... I, I think... I mean, you have an issue with everyone. I have real issues with Emily. Not Which just one's in the, Emily again? The, the girl that you think has ghoul face. Oh, the slutty one. I mean... The one that's with us right now. No, that's Jessica. Who's... oh, Emily... sorry, Emily's the... The okay. one who was pushing her boyfriend ghoul around. Ghoul face, yeah. Jessica is a loud slut, and we love her. Well, I love her. Yeah. Cause she wasn't doing anything wrong. She was just sitting with her boyfriend. Like, I... Come on. I'm sorry. There's a certain level of common sense of don't go to a cabin in the woods where your ex-boyfriend is going to be with with ex-girlfriend. No, but it's not. It's not else. her ex-boyfriend. No, no, but M's. Um, oh, Emily. Yes, is Mike's ex-girlfriend. Or boy, hey, whatever you want to call that one. Photo booth. All right, read my mind. <sighs> selfie. Oh. Okay. Are we gonna have to take the selfie? Oh my God, we're taking a selfie. I can't get away from selfies in this game. Take it. God, her eyes are creepy. Oh my God, <laughs> this is perfect. We're like, really she has some Joker models. mouth going on right now. You should be a model. You keep that camera handy, She's and maybe cute. I'll let you start my portfolio. She's just, I think that's just her lip gloss. Her lip gloss is very No, it, her, her mouth Where? keeps opening up unnaturally no, wide. Like, that wasn't quite as bad, but it's gone to, like, halfway through the cheek a couple times, and that's more of a facial animation tearing issue. Why are we doing this? What is happening? I don't know. It just kind of did that. You act like I have control over this. <sighs> Burr, it is freezing out here. Really? Uh, the snow was an somehow indicator it might be cold as balls uh, out? Okay, sometimes it's like a comfy cold. You know this. I You're love from the, the Northeast. cold. I love the cold. I'm just saying when there's snow going down. Wait, what? That's a sign. Go away. Where? I missed the sign. Go right there. It's glinting. All right. Not a lot of TLC for this place anymore. Kind of a bummer. Well, I mean, since somebody got two of their murdered, daughters did yeah. die here because of your prank, Michael. Yeah, Michael. Emily's as dumb as she looks. If she thinks she can cut in on what we got going on, maybe if we're lucky, she'll try and follow us out here and get eaten by a bear. Agree. I think you bring out the worst in her. Is that so? Epic jealousy. 
jacket. See, like it's something about the angle of the teeth and the way her jaw has been constructed and modeling and stuff like that. That occasionally when she does certain, when the mocap for her face does certain things, it makes her mouth look really unnatural. Like it mm. gives her some snake jaw. Wait, what's off to the right there? I don't know, but I'm guessing that's the cabin because it looks cabiny. So you can kind of see a little hut thing going on. Can I say, does that gate want to go? Huh. Guess this thing needs juice or something. All right, we have Didn't to turn the um, generator on. Generator? That's very. I mean, that's very authentic to the the country experience of like. Oh, no, no, the on. generator's at the house though. I'm not sure. Mike, generator. All right, got it. Ooh. Hey, look, a serial killer. Yay. All right. What's in there? Something glinty. <laughs> hey, look. A generator. All right. Let's see. Boom. Nice one, Mikey. Really? Yep. What are these like weird interludes we have with ourselves? I think ourselves? it's more the camera. Yep. Oh. They're waiting for a moment to happen. So I don't think the guy with the mask and the goggles is a bad guy. Okay. Because he tried to save us, and he had the backpack thing that looked like air tanks, which I'm guessing was a flamethrower. We're up in Canada, right? They made a point of it being Canada? Yeah, they're in Calgary. Zam. The gates shall All right, so... Pretty good, right? I got a theory yeah. about oh, no, just, that awesome. monster oh, yeah. thing I that because I grew up in the woods and because you care about the supernatural stuff that goes along with growing up in the woods, you know about. Yeah. Ah... I yet. think that thing was a Wendigo. I could so see that. Right now. Do you want to explain what a Wendigo is, or do you want me to? So the version of Wendigos I know is that they are initially like fur trappers or whatever you want to call them that get stuck out in the woods during winter normally, and are for and as a result are forced to eat human flesh. But when you eat human flesh out of desperation. You kind of become an evil wood spirit, like they're. Clean it up. I don't want to call oh, them evil Bigfoot, but it's the best example I've got. Same. Like they, they Get used the to be human, now. but now they're kind of like insane hunger spirits. Uh, respectful, because otherwise she's gonna think we're accusing her. Yeah. Well. Wherever they Gotta are. Get to those undies. Sure yeah. Happy. We're That's um, the goal to get some nookie. <laughs> get some undies. That's a nice way um, of thinking about it. Yeah, I mean they're they're an Ojibwe um, legend, um, and they they actually I mean it goes it goes further back than than fur trappers. It's it the idea is that any time that you run out of food in the winter, if you resort to cannibalism, you become a creature that is always hungry yeah, it's Eternally. a manifestation of hunger in yes. the woods it's, it's it's a primal hunger that really likes eating people um they're i mean they're also tied to a lot of ice imagery so they're often very white yeah um you, you don't tend to see yeah. them when it's not winter well they're kind of like <laughs> well that's when they come out essentially because it's they they're driven they're driven by moments of scarcity. Yeah, they, are, they are manifestations of that that <laughs> hunger and that greed. I don't think yeah. we get it through um, the cabin with a path block like this. Oh, there no is a really interesting B movie called wacky. Wendigo, if you Which ever want to see family. that. That's really quite strange. You know what? B movie, like Fuck horror it. film. Oh, well, they're an interesting idea for a horror movie. Another way around. But they've been done a <laughs> lot. Oh, Jessica. Jess! Fuck! Oh. Hey, Jessica! Yep! Hey, I'm okay. Holy crap, you scared the heck out of me. How do you think I felt? Uh, you didn't hit your head or anything. As far as I can tell, I still have all seven of my limbs. <laughs> uh, yeah. Can you get out? I, uh, I don't know. 
I can hardly see anything down here. Uh, jump down. I'm gonna get the nookie, but being heroic. Right, yeah. We're gonna have to, just stay put. Ah! That's a person. Hey, handsome. Wanna help me move this cart? Well, so, and like, even in shows like Supernatural and stuff like that, Wendigos don't like fire. But again, we go back to the kind of nature spirit angle. They don't like fire. Well, because they're winter. Creatures. Yeah, they're winter. They're they're kind of animals of frost and ice and again scarcity and stuff. Like it's. I think that is very much a viable concept if they're going the, the animal supernatural animal route. Yeah, I and I love Wendigos. They're a. I'm curious which version of Wendigo they go with. Because my favorite version of Wendigos are evil Bigfoots. Like, where it's a, a person becomes more animalistic as time goes on as a result of being essentially an animal. Like, it's they start off just kind of growing crazy beard and stuff well, like that. Well, yeah, it's... it's, it's ah! oh. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, oh holy ah. crap! Ugh. Oh my gosh, are you okay? Uh, Was I supposed yep. to let it go, maybe? Yep. Okay. No, I think you could have gotten hurt. Well, so this does raise the question of, like, my reaction is always to succeed at cut um, quick time events. Am I supposed to ever maybe oh, fail really? a quick time event? I think Please sometimes you you're supposed to not. Not, well, like, the, not doing things is not failing. Yeah, like, yeah. But in sure. this case, like in like you don't want to miss that things. appears to be a dead end. Yeah, let's let's check the right. Because the tricky thing is, oh, that's what I'm something. looking for. Oh, fortune totem. Hey, that that was Jess and her undies. That was Jess and her undies. <laughs> I like these cuts away well, to Mike, like, understanding I'm things. supposed to move in those situations, and I don't because I'm actively denying the game a jump scare. Like, I, <laughs> like the, the one time I chose to move, there was the guy with the goggles. Maybe the guy with the goggles is like a supernatural hunter, so that'd be a cool twist. <laughs> just, just Jensen Ackles. <laughs> just like, hey, guys. <laughs> I'd rather Bobby. <laughs> Oh, that's another reason you should see Crimson Peak, Charlie. Bobby's in it. Bobby's in it. Ooh. Bobby plays Mia Wasikowska's dad. Guys, I've been trying to get Charlie to see. Oh. Oop. Stogie. Hmm. We're placing smoke cigars. It's recent. Somebody's smoking cigars. Oh, yeah. That? It's the candles I have more questions about. So I keep expecting it to be like a rotate till you find a clue mechanic. And I get I am woefully not going to get that. Whoa. Hmm. This place is, like, historical. Holy bat cave. Insightful, Mike. You insightful. Got America, right? I don't think the miners were getting their arts and crafts on, no. <laughs> no, no, it's like a Yeah, but we're seeing, so something. we're seeing dream catchers. Which are Native American. Which are Native American, and specifically Ojibwe. The, the Ojibwe yeah. use, use feathers in their dream catchers. And that's definitely a... Hungry ass looking human head. Yeah, no, we're. I, I'm I'm beginning I, to get what you're what you're what you're selling here. I, Charlie. I don't think Wendigos generally have antlers, but. Ah! Ah! Wasn't the cutscene for that right. me to press? Yeah. Oh, all good. Close one. I don't think this. So again, like maybe. <laughs> Don't go into the murder mine. Yeah. I think it's time for them to get out. But let's check all the... Oop, something glinted. Yeah, I'm checking over here to make sure there's no other glint. So to further add to my Charlie gripes about controls in a game, there's a weird, like, he keeps walking after I let go of the stick. He's got, like, a glide to him whenever he moves. All the characters have had that. Jesus. This place is a real fixer-upper. Um, flood risk, dang. So there are three areas ma marked danger with no explanation as to why they're dangerous. That areas at risk, well. danger. Yeah, it's. 
extreme rockfall danger, collapse crop support rust, and flood risk, and then just danger. danger. <laughs> yeah. No, we got these these mines. I have a feeling. I, I don't know if anybody's seen my bloody Valentine, but. Mine? Mines are always abandoned. Mines are never something you want to go into. Look, so to tie this back, even to, even if there's no supernatural force or like somebody who knows that you killed somebody at play, just don't go in. Yeah, stay out like, of mines, I'm, like, kids. I'm from coal country. You don't want to do this. Well, this so do you want to talk about the town that inspired Silent Hill quickly? If we're talking about coal country, the Shh. fact that it's literally a town that is Silent Hill, it's always on fire. What's that glint up there? Let's try going both ways in here. Like, can we go left? Like, just wants to go towards the plot. Let's. Yep, and there's a glint. And another totem. Like the little lizard. Oh. Oh. That was just hella dead. Yep. Just was hella dead there. Well, so this does raise the question. Do we think all of the characters can actually survive? I am under the impression that everybody can. Like, am... Obviously, Hannah and Beth are dead. Yeah, it's their plot points. Uh, we've but like of the, I think watch they're... any game they're where I am forced to play survivors. a story-driven game and hear me go on about how certain plot points have to happen regardless of your choices. Yes, yeah, some people the... I think can die earlier than others. Yeah. some people are less essential. That makes sense. But like, so, for example, it looks like Jessica's gonna be in a lot of danger early on. Um, mind danger map mystery man? Mr. Oh, what? What? Alright. So that one's done. I don't wanna. I wanna play this one. Or inspect. That one we did already, right? Did we? I thought. You sure? Oh wait, no, oh, maybe not. No, Doesn't you're look right. Familiar yet. Yeah. Oh. Definitely haven't done that yet, or we chose not to fuck with a bear trap on a table. I don't think that happened. Fire! That looks like is that Emily's jacket? I can't tell. We'll go back in a second. That's, That's definitely definitely Jessica yeah. with her jaw missing. Um. Yeah, it's Emily. Yeah. Black hair. Yeah. Okay, and that was a Ashley, serial killer. Ashley getting attacked by something. J Jason Voorhees wannabe. Who's the right height to be Josh? FYI. It's true. And us waking up. Bra and panties in a mine. Yes. But, I mean, that, that implies something went horribly wrong between the cabin and <laughs> between Nookie and something else. Maybe you fall through else. the floor or get kidnapped or something. Yeah, we'll find out. Well, so, oh, when Josh said cabin, I felt like Abe Lincoln. <laughs> Where do you see the Lincoln bedroom? Oh, are you planning on getting presidential on me? This does raise the question of, like, Air Force One? <laughs> this right, used right. to be a resort of some kind, correct? Yeah, like oh, a resort and, like, a spa kind yeah, of mental health recovery area. Place, yeah, recovery wow. Get out to nature, get some air, etc., etc. Oh. Whoa. You all right? I just saw someone at the cabin. Okay. <laughs> I'm betting there's a jump scare. There's a jump I don't know. Yeah. But how's that possible if they're not here in front of the... What was that? Yeah. Well, that, looks like, that looks like a corpse hey, face or something. Mm -hmm. Stay close by, okay? What's up? 
Uh, okay, so the Rocky Mountain elk is bad brown too. Bears up here sometimes. It's awfully snarly looking, yeah. Oh. Michael, I have the best idea. What? Let's go hug a bear. Come on, please. Come on. Let's not hug a bear. <laughs> I'm glad someone's being logical. <laughs> She's being silly. Cabin is that way. We came from the other way. Everything about the choices we've made, I'd have turned back and been like, I'm gonna wait till morning. <laughs> like Let's they, just stay let's just stay here. <laughs> they got here at ten PM. Yes. What kind of monster sends his friends out into the woods at ten goddamn PM? Well wait, twenty 21. Okay, so it's, it's about 9 o'clock when Sam gets there and it takes her like a half an hour to get up. But yeah, yeah it's a little late. To go trampsing out through the woods. I mean, we already... I don't trust Josh. Yeah. We're all pretty sure Josh is gonna kill everyone. And given the advertisement and the premonition we've had, we know there's some kind of Human ask oh, Jason. There's an elk. There's an elk. Just Can't. living its life. Uh, time for a selfie, maybe? <laughs> That's no. what white people do. Says a white person. <laughs> That's a bird. Watch out, bird brain. Witty. Witty. It's just. Answering is mating. Wow, you're easy. Yeah, got a lot of love to give. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't stay mad at him. Yeah. I know that he's a horrible human being, but he's just so damn pretty. Yeah, I... they're both so pretty. So here's the reality: it's I'm not defending the prank they pulled, but a prank going just that magnificently wrong. Th there's no way to prepare for that. Like that's that is true. Most people would be embarrassed and be like, oh, you got me, guys. You fucking suck or get pissed or something. She ran off into the woods. When she's at like, night. From, when she's from there, too, yeah. you know? Half before sending us up here. <laughs> really? What? I didn't figure you for the glass half empty type. You got a better idea? Stand back, Debbie Downer. Oh, boo! Show off. Aw, oh, I was expecting athletic more. Athletic people. Your face. Ah. Boo! Okay. Okay. Well, that's how it's gonna it's be. Gonna be. Aw. His face got stuck. Yes? Ah! Yes! What? That's not good. Something Wicked Studios. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give us a thumbs up down below, you share us with all your friends, and you subscribe to the channel. If you're looking for more videos right now, we've got a whole bunch of ones all over the channel you can get to by the links below. If you hit the random button, I promise to send you to a good one. You know you want to. Press it. Press it.